everybody. I'm Patrick DeBella with MIM Athletics in Syracuse, New York. Today we're going to go over a full body workout that you can do at home with no equipment. We're going to go through it together, so let's get ready to rock. The first thing we're going to do is a plank sequence. So we're going to do four different exercises for 15 seconds at a time, and we're going to hold each one. It's going to start out with a straight arm plank, a push up hold, another straight arm plank, and then a forearm plank. I'll time it. So we'll just do this together. We'll take a rest afterwards and then repeat. If at any point in time you need to go down to your knees for a modification, feel free to do so. This is a better plank than this. So if you feel your back starting to arch, just go to your knees and continue the hold. We'll get ready, get the hands underneath the shoulders. In three, two, one, step back to plank. Really push the floor away so you're not sinking into the shoulders. You're pushing the floor away. You're squeezing your hands together. You're keeping your hips level. You don't want your hips up. Keep the hips nice and level in two. One, we'll lower down to the knees. I'm sorry, we'll lower down to the push-up. If you need to go to the knees, go to the knees. Keep the elbows in. Nice job. This is a very difficult hold. we got five more seconds. Last three, two, one. If you want to drop to the knees to press back up to straight arm plank, you can do it like that. Continue pushing the floor away. Squeeze your hands together. This is to engage the chest. Five more seconds here. And then lower it into a forearm plank for the last 15 seconds. Breathe. In three, two, one, time. Bring the knees down with control. Take a big deep breath. Nice job. Why don't you hit pause, take a 60 second rest, come on back and we'll repeat that sequence. All right, round two. Let's get right to it. Hands on the shoulders. We'll go in three, two, one, plank. Breathe. You may not need to control the breath much right now, but you will later, so get a head start. Body nice and straight, keep the elbows in. If you need to go to the knees, please go to the knees. Nice job, five more seconds, keep breathing. And up, nice job, straight arm plank. Keep pushing the floor away, keep pressing the hands together. Cues that I say often, engage the glutes. Three, two, one, forearms, last 15 seconds. Job, round two down. Great work. Uh, take another minute rest. Catch your breath. Move your arms around a little bit if you need to. We're going to get into a leg sequence next. Let's Welcome back. I hope you have caught your breath and are ready to go. We're going to do a leg sequence. We're going to do a squat ladder. The way it works is we're going to do one rep and then hold the bottom of a squat position for 10 seconds. Then five reps, hold the bottom of a squat. 10 reps, hold the bottom of a squat. Five reps, hold the bottom. One rep. Hold the bottom. So we're going up the ladder and down the ladder. This is going to be a doozy. All right. I'm going to start in the bottom position. That way we go up and down into the bottom position. All right. In five seconds, we're going to hit that bottom squat. Three, two, one. Good. And up and down. Seven. I hope you're feeling this already as I am. Six. Last five. Four. Three. Two. And hold. Five. 
squats. Five, four, three. If you're a little behind, that's okay. Two, last one. Nice job. We're already all the way up and more than halfway down. Last one. Whew. Feel this hold. I can promise you that. That's a burner. I hope you guys are feeling it. Please take a minute to stretch your quads. Um, we do have one more sequence left. We're gonna hit some core, but definitely stretch your legs a little bit. Take a break, grab some water, and we'll get back to it. Welcome back, round three. We have a core sequence coming up. This is quick, and it's gonna be challenging, okay? So there's three different exercises that we're gonna do. If you can do these without resting, that's gonna be great. If you need to take a rest, please take a rest. Um, so I'm gonna show you all three movements and then we're gonna combine them and go through the sequence. So knees tucked, hands flat. You're gonna bring the knees towards the chest and lift the tailbone off the ground as high as you can. And this is movement one, okay? Movement two, you're gonna do the same thing, lift your tailbone off the ground, go straighten your legs to the ceiling, lower the tailbone, lower the legs. In, up, down, okay? Movement three, you're gonna bring the knees into the chest, lift the tailbone, send the legs back out in front. Like this, okay? This is a very difficult sequence. We're gonna shoot for 10 reps of each one. I suggest shooting for five reps of each one if you're just beginning, okay? Take a break as much as you need to. We're gonna shoot right through this. We're gonna get through it together. Um, so let's get prepared. Tucked reverse crunches. We'll go in three, two, one, begin. Lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Notice my shoulders are off the ground. Three, and my low back is flat. Two, one, three. Lift, straighten, lower for 10, nine, If you need to, you can stop here and bend. Five, four, keep lifting. Three, we're all feeling it. Two, one, nice job. Last round. Ten, this is tough. Nine, eight, seven, nice job. Almost there. Six, last five. Let's get it. Five. Four, three, two, one. Ah, nice job. Real quick, come on to the stomach. Bring the hands somewhat underneath the shoulders. Straighten the arms. If you need to scooch the hands out further, you can, but we're looking to get a nice little stretch through the stomach after all that core work. Squeeze the glutes to protect the low back. Slowly. Lower back down. If you want to do that stretch one or two more times before you finish up, feel free. Uh, but that's all I got for you today. That was upper body, lower body, and core. We got through that in maybe 10 minutes or so, but it's a great workout, especially if you're short on time. If you feel like you need to add another round or two to any of that, feel free and do so. I highly suggest checking out my active warm ups from my last video and doing a few static stretches to finish this off. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up with more videos. Thanks for checking out my workout. Have a good day.